Ebola is really like a forest fire. If you leave one ember burning, it can flare up again. These are diseases of poverty and conflict. You show me poverty right. and conflict or a post-conflict situation, I'll show you these diseases. You better run. I go into clinic after clinic after clinic after clinic after clinic and there's not one box of gloves. Um, there's no needle holders. You go to hospital, there's no needle holders. There's no emesis basins, there's no running water. There's one running tap in the whole hospital. How can you fight a disease like Ebola without water, without basic sanitation devices? You go into a village and you have one latrine for 15 houses. How can you fight a disease like Ebola with the poor sanitation that is here? If we are to take them now, where, you know, where would they be hospitalized or where would they be looked after? You see, there was just nowhere. The number of ambulances were inadequate. You see, what can we do? The whole is not doing enough. Yeah. There are a number of countries that have capacity that have not yet stepped up. Uh, those that have stepped up, all of us are going to have to do more uh, because uh, unless we contain this at the source, this is going to continue to pose a threat. As they wait for medical attention, they watch as 10 bodies are removed from the Ebola ward. The response was slow in coming. The support was slow. Um, we now have a huge presence of our international friends. But I wish we had reacted a lot earlier than that. Lights will guide you home and ignite you both. Disgraced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation. And what's his reason? Fed with the same food, hurt by the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die?